I've had quite a number of memorable and emotional encounters with art because I think you can be moved and you can be emotionally touched by an artwork um, but at the end of the day you know when it brings you to tears and it, it makes you think of an experience that you yourself had that connectivity is like almost like complete and uh, that's that's the most magical part of it I'm Bridget Tracy Tan and I'm a member of the judging panel for UOB Painting of the Year 2016. Sensibility, as the word implies, is about the senses. So when we talk about the senses, we're looking at the five, generally the five senses. But in particular, for, for visual arts, the eyes are really quite important. Um, and how what we see, perhaps, or what we perceive uh, visually, translates to that experience that would touch us. So sensibility as such is the concept of this relationship that we would have if we took the time to engage with the art object. In taking the time to engage, you kind of get deeper into it and you appreciate it better. So that, that I would say in a nutshell is why sensibility is important. What I had to do was to draw from the collection, find a range of artworks that would help people to understand how we are describing sensibility, if you like. So I kind of divided them into four sections. There's one section that's called Weaving a Tapestry of Memory. So they tend to put bits of themselves and, and bits of their memories and their ideas and their stories in an artwork. Then those may also actually resonate with us. And then there's another category which is um, drawing meaning from symbolism. There are different things that we can regard as symbols. A mountain could mean strength, the sky could mean hope. When they put it into an artwork, then we, we find the meaning as we are looking at, at, at some of these symbols. And then there's another category that is creating optical sensations. Say a painting is monochromatic. You know, when you see a wavy form and you see the different shades of colour that is affecting that form and the contours, it could, you know, kind of generate some kind of feeling in you. So there's one last category that is colouring the mood. And some artists do this because colours have a lot of um, meaning for them. So when they infuse a painting with one dominant colour, that kind of is a way of accessing both the artwork um, and, and what it means to you. What we're looking for essentially is a combination of all these different things, whether it's a technical superiority, application of the medium, the story behind it, and then the emotional quality. And once all the different elements come together and there's a, a connectivity, then that is what we'll be looking for as the winning painting.